kind of, you know, start the process to be able to install the EGR block on tapes. Gonna loosen these screws so the carpet will come out a little easier. Dig under the carpet and it has a snap. Pull it up, this guy. And under here, these ones kind of just have these little things. These little plastic ridges that hold under there. So you just gotta find them, push down. This one, the rear seat, has this flap that pulls up first. And then the bottom carpet has two snaps. In the middle, because there's no latch. But on each side, there's this little plastic that snaps into this rail. There's two Phillips head that on each of these brackets that you need to remove. Once you get that out, this whole thing comes off and out of the way. And now we're going to take this plastic thing off. Should be 12. This one here is a slightly bigger bolt, so it'll be hard in this. It's also gold. This one's gold as well up here, but it's not big. It's the same size as all these, just different. And the rest, slightly longer. Switch to 10 millimeter. Just comes off. Take off these two nuts and these two nuts and install some plates. It's got 12 millimeter. And then it's off. So now we gotta take these studs off. Put one nut there, another one. I'm going to do the same for this one. Alright, that worked better. Alright, so now we're going to put the gasket with the plate. And you'll notice one of the plates, the holes lines up, another one's different. The holes are not in the same location, so it's pretty easy to not get them mixed up. So we'll get this guy there. In the kit there's three bolts, one is slightly shorter, so we're going to use these two longer ones there. For this exhaust, we'll look at the gasket, we'll place it with this one. I think it can go either way, but we'll put it there. Just put the plate on, and then another the bolt. Also comes with a nut, a new nut. There was the one hose that was in here. It goes on that little nipple. And it went to the top of the EGR, so I'll take just take it off. And so we're gonna cap down the line with a little cap. And it's actually on the injection pump right here, this top line. Get this little guy. goes right there. So now that you've plugged that, you could in theory take all these hoses here out and these things off because that all has to do with it. And this one as well because that adjusts a little small EGR butterfly valve that's in the throttle body which won't do anything anymore. And a lot of people gut it. And that's it. Block off complete.